Okay, today we're going to be making Mom's Onion Soup Meatloaf. Classic comfort food, only eight ingredients. Very simple. Perfect. And we're making it right now. Welcome to Secret Kitchens of New Jersey, and today it's all about a classic meatloaf. Mom's onion soup meatloaf, and we told you eight simple ingredients. There they are, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the water is eight. We're not even adding salt and pepper to it because we're using onion soup mix. It's got salt, it's got pepper in it. We're using seasoned breadcrumbs. We got Worcestershire, Shire, Shire, whatever it's called, sauce, and then we got a little bit of ketchup. So, we're ready to go. I feel like this is uh, pretty much ingredients that most people have at home. And who doesn't love a classic meatloaf? It's the, I, I think it's one of the ultimate comfort Absolutely. foods, right? Absolutely. So let's see how you do yours. Okay. Here we go. So, we're gonna grab our eggs. And most people would start with the meat first. As we did in one of our other episodes, we're gonna start with our ingredients in there first and incorporate everything. And our, tell me why you do that. Well, what happens is once you mix this ahead of time, it mixes everything together so you get a more balanced flavor. You know, you don't want to get right. a piece of meat where you taste just uh, meat, nothing else, because it didn't incorporate properly. The way we're doing this, and it's very simple, was a half a cup of uh, ketchup. It's going to be a half a cup of seasoned breadcrumbs. And of course, all the ingredients are in the description. You don't have to memorize a thing. This is one of the all-time simple things, but still I feel like one of the best things that you can possibly, just one of the best things you can eat. Who doesn't love great meatloaf? Now we're gonna, oh, so gonna give that. a little whisk yep. real quick and then we'll incorporate it. So, so you do you ever do this with turkey? Yes, yes. Um, with turkey, uh, you've got so many different variations of the soup mix that you can use. You know, you can use a uh, uh, vegetable soup mix, uh, which works very well with it, and basically all the same ingredients. And mm, it smells good. It's, we've done it. We've done it with turkey. If you don't want to eat beef, it's a whole, whole different animal, and it, it's fantastic. And it's simple to make. Okay. Now, two pounds of 80/20 ground beef. You can use regular ground beef. I prefer this as ground chuck. Just gives it a little bit more flavor. We're going to take that, we're going to put it in, and I'm going to grab my gloves. Let me throw this away. You know what? I have a question myself. When Go ahead. People, when people talk about meatloaf mix, what does that mean exactly? Um, meatloaf mix is basically uh, the trinity of making meatballs. Okay. Uh, meatloaf, it's uh, beef, pork, and veal. Normally it's a ratio of 50 pounds of beef, ground beef. 25 pork and 25 veal. You don't want to have too much veal in it because if you put too much veal, it doesn't have that much fat because it's a young, you know, young calf. Right. Pork's got fat in it, so 25% of that. And if you get a nice 80-20 beef, you know, it makes it makes for a nice flavor. Now I'm going to go in. We already incorporated. Mm -hmm. So all, it makes this much easier. I see yeah, that. Yeah, and just it, you, it's all you know evenly proportioned because we mix it together. So you're getting it in all your chopped meat. And you basically want to just mix this until it becomes, until it sticks together and you're able to form it. So we're doing this with two pounds of meat. Of course, you could scale it up or down. But this is, you know, I'm a believer in cook once, eat a few times. So hopefully, uh, depending on the size of your family, you'll have some leftovers here for sandwiches or leftover, meat loaf leftovers. Awesome. Well, the beauty of this is that, like Andrea said, you make your meatloaf, goes in the fridge, you take it out cold, you slice it. Yeah. A couple slices. You can buy the Bob Evans. They sell the pre-made uh, mashed potatoes. It's real mashed potatoes. Just uh, vacuum packed. And you can get a jar of beef gravy, jar of mushroom gravy, whatever. And we just got to have the water last. There we go. And, of course, the, the beauty of this is you can do this part now, put it in the fridge. Come home from work and get it in the oven. 
I, I love anything that you can do all or part in advance. Yes. This is definitely one of those things. Well, like I said, during the week, get all that stuff, jarred gravy, mashed potatoes that are done, take it out of the fridge, slice it, put it in a microwave, dinner served. Now, see, we added the water last. That just finished it, put it all together, and if you look, everything's well mixed. It smells delicious. Next step, we're going to put it in our pan and get it ready to go in the oven. And we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so we took our meatloaf, we put it in a little bit of uh, saran wrap, made a little bit of a mold. What you can do if you've got time, you can take this mold, put it in a refrigerator, the longer it sits, the more firm mm, it becomes. I like that. We're going to take it out of the, uh, the wrap paper, it's about two inches thick, so it cooks nice and evenly. Take it out, and we're going to put it on a sheet pan that's got parchment paper on it. Plus, you cook your meatloaf on any kind of pan you want, just that we're going to be using a sheet pan. I love this technique. Let me take it like so, go like so, and we are done. There it is. All right, so the oven is set to... 350, it was preheated at 350, and it's going to cook for about an hour. And you want, you want to make sure your meatloaf is at about 160 degrees internal temperature. Then you know it's done and it's safe. Get a meat thermometer, right. and if you're not sure how long to cook it, because every oven is not the same, 160 on a meat, on a meat thermometer, and you're done. All right, so we're going to get this in the oven, and we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so we're finished product here. We let it cook for about an hour. We got our meat to a 160 temperature. We let it rest for about 10 minutes, and we cut it up, and this is what the finished product looks like. Classic got, plating. Yes, absolutely. Classic. We've got our, our gravy, we've got red bliss potato, mashed potatoes, and our meatloaf. Quick, easy comfort food. And we're going to dive in. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. Mm. Go for it. Meatloaf, gravy, potatoes. It is classic. Yeah. Let's a little see. bit of potato. Yeah, the perfect bite. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's good. It's, it just conjures up a lot of memories, this comfort food, right? Yeah, simple peasant food. I mean, what do we use? Eight ingredients. Mm -hmm. This whole thing, your most expensive uh, thing is the meat nowadays. But you're talking about this whole meal, two pounds of meat, about five, six bucks. All the other ingredients, you can make this whole dinner, mashed potatoes and everything, for under under twelve dollars. And, and this is going to serve a lot of people. This yeah. will serve a lot of people too. But more important, it's absolutely delicious. It's classic comfort food, and um, it is. It's time to be comfortable at home. So, thanks bon appetit. For, bon appetit, everyone, and thank you for watching today in the Secret Kitchens of New Jersey. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. We're just going to continue to eat. It's nice.